So in this video, I'm just going to provide a quick explanation of the difference between f prime of x and f prime of a. All right, so f prime of x is a function, and it's a function of x. So whatever you have for f prime of x, it's going to have x's in it. It's going to have variables in it. Okay, just to be really clear, f prime of x doesn't have to have variables in it. Like the derivative could be a constant, like the derivative of a linear function is just the slope. So it'd be like f prime of x equals 7 because 7 is the slope of the line. But anyway, the idea is that the derivative can have variables in it. So for example, we could have that the derivative is 5x minus 3, or f prime of x could be e to the x or it could be x divided by 2 minus x. These are just some examples of functions that could be derivatives. So f prime of x is a function, it can have variables in it. So this is in contrast to f prime of a, where a is some number, some real number, some constant. So this is the derivative with a substituted in for x. So instead of f prime of x, we have f prime of a. So the value that we get out of this is going to be a real number. So when we substitute in a, into the derivative, we get a number out. So it's like we're plugging an a into the function. We should get a constant number out. So for example, we could have the derivative at three, f prime of three, that would be 10. We'd plug in three and we'd get 10. We could do f prime of negative one. So negative one is the value we plug into the derivative. We substitute in for x and then we get two out as our result. Okay, so to review, f prime of x is a formula for the slope of the tangent line at any input value x. f prime of x is the derivative, it's a function, it can have variables in it. Alternatively, f prime of a is the slope of the tangent line at a specific input value x equals a. So rather than giving us a formula for any x value, what's the slope of the tangent line? f prime of a is specific to one value that we're substituting in to the derivative to find the derivative at that specific point. Okay, hopefully that was helpful in distinguishing between the two. Remember, x is for any x, a is a specific x. All right, thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.